hello welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for joining me on this particular video i really appreciate each and every one of you i love you guys so much so yeah this video is um related to the two videos i just previously uploaded on how i created the shorts and the sewing fashion now it's all gonna make sense at last so just listen so i'm on this quest of creating the perfect fit for my pants okay and um because that is going to also apply to making a short i decided to create a short first i created a pattern which i uploaded um that was like two videos or one video before this one two videos before this one that was the short pattern so in case you've not seen that please go watch that because that is the pattern i'm going to be using for the all the adjustments we're going to be making all the adjustments i want to make that pattern is what i'm going to be referencing to so i'm just going to be going back to the pattern and doing all the adjustments so yeah go see it create yours come back and join us on the adjustment you don't even need to sew just see this particular video because this is just going to help you okay now, after creating that pattern and I sewed the short, I realized two things were off. Now, these two things has to do with the first one is the front. There was like too much excess on the front that we need to take in. So, on that, I have seen a video that was recently uploaded by Kim Day. And now we're going to be adjusting our own pattern. We're going to be using that particular pattern to adjust our pattern. Now, if you have created my own pattern with me, you need to do this adjustment, okay? This is a journey and a quest for us to achieve the perfect fit for our pants. So, you actually need to adjust. Now, we're going to be taking the SS. I know how much SS I need to take in. Now, this is how you're going to be doing it. In case you did not use my pattern, but you're also having this SS. What you're going to do is put on the trouser or the pants or the short, whatever it is that you need to take in the SS. And place your tape from your waist down to that point where you have the SS and please know the number know how much uh, know the points like know the points you need to know what the point is from your waist down because you're going to be applying that on the pattern so I'm going to find out mine and I found out that mine was eight eight inches so from the um, top of my waist down to the point where I have the SS is eight inches what I'll do is take out the SS I'm so you guys after um, taking the point I realized that I need to take out one inch SS from that point. So let's just go straight to the pattern drafting. Now, the SS point is eight inches, and the SS I'm going to be taking out is one inch. So please go ahead and find out what you need to take out and where the point needs to sit. This is my front pattern, and you know this adjustment is happening on the front because we have gotten the back pattern right. So we have to work on the front. Now, on the front, I'm just going to go ahead and mark my 8 inches. Now, you guys, remember that we have the band already out. You know this pattern, uh, after creating this pattern, after cutting it on the fabric, we cut out a band of 2 inches. So, we are, we are going to take out that 2 inches. And from the 2 inches, I'm just going to go down and mark my 8 inches. So, you can see my tape is starting from 2 inches, right? And then from the 2 inches, I'm just going to go down and mark 8 inches because the excess that we're taking out, it's um, from a shot that has a band so that is why we're doing this so now that i have my points i'm just going to rule an horizontal line so i rule a horizontal line on that point and now it's time for me to take out the excess now i'm going to be taking out one inch excess from the pattern so please find out how much excess you need to take out okay so now um this is my center front please don't forget on your pattern this is always your center front where you have the crotch sitting i'm going to be marking half an inch on each side of the line like the line here we have the eight inches point i'm going to take half an inch here and half an inch here so i'm taking out half an inch here and then another half an inch here so both side of the line i'm taking out half an inch half an inch and this is going to make it one inch in total now, before I connect this to the side where I have the pocket, I'm just going to come in by half an inch because the excess did not actually affect the side of my shorts. So, it didn't affect the side of the pants. So, I'm just going to go in here by half an inch. So, when I connect those half an inch, it's going to stop on this point here. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and use my ruler and connect. So this is like taking out that, you know, just the same way we take out that on our bust or waist. Yeah, that we make sure it doesn't get to the bust actually. That's what we're doing right now. We're making sure it doesn't get to the side so it doesn't affect the side. So once all that is done, I'm just going to go ahead 
and cut um, one side of the half an inch i'm cutting the top part why is that we're not cutting this whole excess of marks we're not cutting it out what we're going to do is we're going to stop at that half an inch that we came in by and then i'm just going to bring in my tape and i'm just going to glue this together like this okay so this is the reason why we didn't cut it totally off because we're just going to be um, attaching it back like this and now we have taken in one inch excess on the pattern so hope you've done yours let me know in the comment section um how it's going if you're able to do that i'm just going to write that this pattern is adjusted and now we're going to move on to the next adjustment the next thing we're going to be working on is the band now for the band we're just going to be doing one thing and one thing only we're going to change the strategy in which we create band okay this has been how i've been creating band for the longest time but then i realized that it doesn't actually always fit when i create my band like this most times i have to take in like excess on the band or sometimes i just manage okay but that is that has to stop so what we're going to do is learn how to create a two-piece band and i'm just going to be uploading a video where we create a two-piece band together now this whole adjustment we're doing on this pattern we're going to be sewing another short though so that short is going to tell us if we're actually getting it right or wrong so we're going to be having another video where i create a short now this time around we're not drafting out the pattern because we have the main pattern already well we are going to be using that particular pattern because it's been adjusted and we're going to use that particular pattern now to create a new shot and on that shot we're going to be creating a two-piece band that fits okay now you guys i forgot to say that um to help you out in case you don't know how to find the video i'm just going to be creating a playlist for the pattern created the first pattern and the sewing version the adjustment is going to come next and when we make the new um short video where we try out the pattern that we have adjusted i'm just going to add it to that playlist so i'm just going to make this whole quest in getting the right fit for our pants a playlist so whenever or whoever you are and you're clicking on this video and you're like oh i i can't find the pattern drafting i can't find the adjust whatever it says i'm just going to create a playlist that can help you out so yeah you just follow along accordingly create your pattern if you want to sew first and then find out how to take in your ss yeah whatever however you want to do it that's your choice but i'm just going to create a playlist that is going to help you out follow the journey along accordingly okay and yeah. and the next adjustment is going to be on the band already um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using an elastic to tighten up this part and to do that i'll have to loosen up my center back so this is the front and this is the center back i'm just going to loosen up the center back and i'm just going to loosen just a little bit like one inch or two inches wide because I just need to pass my elastic through it, okay? I don't need it to be all opened up. I just need a little bit of space to pass my elastic, and this is enough. So now I'm just going to bring in the elastic I'll be using. I'll be using a 2-inch elastic, and this is it. So this is how it's going to sit. Um, before then, I'm just going to mark um, how much or how long I want the elastic to be. I'm using 9 inches because my back waist the total of my back waist is 15 inches but i'm just taking out like six inches of that measurement and i'm using nine inches and this is the band i'll be using so yeah the length of my band like i said is two inches um long and yeah that's what we're going to be doing so i'm just going to go ahead and pass my band through that opening i just created that opening i just did and i'm going to make sure it stops at the side seam okay where we have the side seam I'm just going to make sure it stops there and I'll pin this. And then I'll take the other side of the band to the other side seam and then I'll pin. So what we're going to do is sew in from the side seam. So it just looks like we have like a stitch on the band from the side seam up to the band. Okay, that's what we're doing. So this is how it looks. So what we'll, what we'll do now is we'll sew in this side and then we'll sew in this side seam and then we'll close the opening. So let's take this to the sewing machine. So now I'm going to sew in this side and I'm just going to start from the side seam we have on the shirt. I'll take the side seam, um, the sewing we have on the side seam and I'll just connect that up to the band. So I'm just going to make sure I sew the elastic way so it doesn't loosen, okay? I'll cut this off, then I'll do the other side. I'll take off my pins, making sure I still have my elastic there and then I'm just going to sew and connect the line down to the side seam we have on the shorts. 
So this is easy peasy. You can actually do this on any outfit that you need to, you know, either reduce the waist or, you know, attach elastic to give it some, you know, maybe probably shaping. you know, elastic does that. It does that to outfits. Wherever you attach your elastic to, you always just hold that part. If it's your bust, if it's your sleeves, if it's your, um, on the length of your, pants it just holds that part together like just glue it to your either your feet or your waist you guys get the gist so now i'm just closing the opening i um created while passing the band i'm just going to close that and you guys if you want to stop here you can at this point you have already adjusted the ss on your band so you're done but me i'm just going to be doing more and the extra thing I need to do now is I'm just going to sew a middle um, stitch on the band. Just to give it that, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to give it, but I just want it to look like that. So I'm just going to have like a middle stitch on the band. And that's what I'm doing. So this is optional. You can stop at the point where we, we were done closing up the opening. Or you can continue and make a middle stitch on the band. And I'll show you guys how it looks after so please let me know in the comment section if any of the adjustments was of help and you guys we're going to be making a shot again like i said we're going to be creating another shot just to make sure that we're getting the pattern really really right okay now this is how it looks you can see that the band at the back is just holding my waist so no more ss it looks really perfect like this it looks really nice and i'm glad i actually did this now i can wear my shorts with the crop top without bothering about the ss and you guys that is it thank you for watching this video thank you for joining me if you're seeing this particular channel for the first time my name is vivian and on this channel i show you guys how i create outfits recreate outfits also and also my sewing um journey how it's going from how um bad i was to how bad i am getting so yeah that is what this channel is all about and in case you want me to create anything that you're having problem with you can send me a request um right now my request is actually on post but i'll be coming back to that I'll, i'm gonna be using the request um pictures from you guys to create a new series okay the series is coming up i don't want to talk too much about it yet but that aside, let's give this video a thumbs up if you find it interesting and if it helped you in any way, please let me know in the comment section, okay? Don't forget to do that. And I'm waiting to see your comments. I always reply them, so I'm waiting to see your comments in the comment section. And yeah, you guys, that's it for this particular video. I love you guys so much. You don't even know how much, but I love you guys so much. Bye for now. Me. And get my do